Hello and welcome. In what seems like a late thought, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh had been added to four key cabinet committees. Now, on Thursday, the Narendra Modi government had reconstituted eight cabinet committees, including the creation of two new ones. But Defence Minister Rajnath Singh found himself to be a member of just two of them, while Home Minister Amit Shah was a part of all eight. The fact that Amit Shah was now the de facto number two in the Modi government was well established. But Rajnath's absence from key committees had triggered speculation in media. So the Modi government was quick to respond and make amends for it. Rajnath Singh was added to four key cabinet committees, including the Panel on Political Affairs Committee. Rajnath is now also a part of the Committees on Parliamentary Affairs, Employment and Skill Development, as well as investment and growth. So in a matter of just 16 hours, India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh went from being part of just two committees to heading the Parliamentary Affairs Committee, a position he held in the last government too. Now, sources tell we on World is One that Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has sent a congratulatory message to India's new Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar. The Pakistani minister sent a message wishing Jay Shankar a successful term in office. He is believed to have expressed interest in strengthening India-Pakistan ties through dialogue. Now, the development comes a day after the Indian Foreign Ministry ruled out any talks between Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Pakistani counterpart Imran Khan in line with the Indian policy that terror and talks cannot go hand in hand. The Indian Foreign Ministry spokesperson said on Thursday that Modi and Khan would not be meeting in Kyrgyzstan's capital Bishkek next week. Remember, it would be the first time the two Prime Ministers will come face to face after the Pulwama terror attack and the Indian airstrikes on terror camps inside Pakistan. Listen in. The possibility of a meeting, to the best of my knowledge, uh, there is no uh, bilateral meeting being planned uh, between Prime Minister and uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan on the sidelines of uh, the SEO summit. Now, as Jay Shankar begins his two-day trip to Bhutan today, his first visit overseas since taking over as India's foreign minister. The visit reflects the importance that India attaches to its bilateral relationship with Bhutan, a close friend and neighbor. He would call on King Jigme Khesar Namgyal Wangchuk and Prime Minister Lote Shering. He will also have a meeting with his Bhutanese counterpart, Tandy Dorji. Jay Shankar, in his first public speech on Thursday, said in New Delhi that India's neighbors would be a top priority for New Delhi over the next five years. primary responsibility is on India, uh, is on India because we are the largest economy. Uh, and uh, in that sense, we can, our growth can serve as a sort of lifting tide uh, for, for all our neighbors. Now, if that happens, then to my mind, or if that were to happen, then to my mind, I don't think we should over-negotiate that. Uh, I think if you want it to happen, look, the benefits will come. So. To the, we need to incentivize uh, cooperation in the neighborhood.